my name is Bonnie Mbithi. I'm the CEO for the We Center. So We Center is the newest uh, management company, meaning we take care of all electronic waste that is generated. So we collect e-waste from all over. So that's from companies, from homes, from schools, from government. So anybody is a generator of e-waste. As long as you're a consumer of electronics, at some point they become e-waste. So our work is to make sure that uh, this electronic waste is safely uh, managed so it doesn't end up in the environment because again it has very um, heavy metals so if these heavy metals are not properly taken care of they cause a lot of damage to the environment and also to the health of plants and animals. My name is Joseph Oliech, founding member of the WE Center. I've been managing ICT related projects and uh, electronic waste management for the last 10 years. From the e-waste management angle, we do e-waste collection. We have three big trucks and pickups that we use for e-waste collection from various corporates and communities. And once we bring the e-waste here, we have the receiving area. The data for the e-waste is captured, weight, serial numbers, disposers, and all details that relates to uh, the items or equipment or the devices that have been received in preparation for development of the certificate of the disposal and the report for the disposal as well that will go to the disposer. Once we receive this information and once we have received the devices, we take them to the pre-processing section, that is where we do the dismantle, and we separate fractions of electronic waste, uh, plastic, metal, uh, the printed circuit boards, hard disks, and other related items to different sections. From the pre-processing section, these fractions are taken to the machinery workshop, where we have specialized machines for extraction or further processing of certain fractions. From the machine workshop, there are fractions that are taken to further pre-processing section, especially uh, the batteries. We have a separate workshop for batteries. Now the battery recycling center. Under the battery recycling center, we have the lithium ion batteries, we have lead acid batteries, we have a number of batteries and they are processed according to the battery families. After the separation and the segregation of the batteries, we take them to the testing chain where uh, cells that can still be used are taken to um, a section where they repackage, repurposed and uh, taken back to the society for uh, utilization. I'm Alex Mwanzo, the battery engineer for Aceleron Kenya. So what we do is we take disposed batteries that have been disposed to waste center from their solar partners. And by this, we are able to recycle these batteries that will otherwise be disposed to the environment as waste. And we are able to recycle it back into the environment by saving up to 70% of the disposed waste uh, in creating batteries for uh, either solar or for electric mobility platforms such as boats, electric boats, electric motorcycles, and electric cars. The batteries are usually disposed of like this. So the first process is to take them apart into individual cells. Uh, with this rig, we are able to know the life, the life cycle, the health of the batteries. And then this rig is able to tell us the batteries that are good and what can be used into making another battery and which are bad, which are taken back to waste center. Now the single individual cells end up in a battery pack like this. This is a lithium ion battery pack, which is a, a 300 watt system. So in theory, this would be used in off-grid communities such as Trukana, Narok and the likes to power their homes, charge their phones. Of course, we know that between 70 to 80 percent of batteries, especially the lithium ion batteries, are good. The remaining components or the remaining fraction that consumes between 20 to 30 percent, they are also taken through our processing chain for further segregation, further processing, and further treatment. As an organization, we have a zero dumping policy. Whatever we collect must be recycled, must be upcycled, and must be reintroduced into the ecosystem as either a new product, improved product, or uh, integrated product. So to date we've um, handled over 10,000 tons of e-waste. This is e-waste that we've safely disposed. It's e-waste that would have otherwise ended up in the rivers, in dump sites or also in the environment. 
we've created over 5,000 jobs uh, since we began. Uh, we've also reduced uh, the amount of CO2 emission that is going out through our um, e-waste management activities. We've created a lot of opportunities for women and the youth. Most of the people who work uh, in our collection supply chain and even the jobs that we have here in them that you'll see in our processing workshops. Most of these people are young people. We've also done projects that are outside uh, our scope, not, not really outside our scope, but just to bring more empowerment to the communities. So we have partnered with other corporates to come up with mobile solar powered um, labs, which are used also to promote digital literacy. The work that we center does is a social business. Our focus is people, profit, people, planet and profit. So we are tackling a problem that if not tackled properly, it will create a lot of danger, not only to the environment, but also to human and plants, the way I've said. So you need um, more collaborations with different uh, people. That's why we have to not only look at uh, making uh, money or making profits from it, but also when you look at creating awareness, look at uh, setting up collection uh, drop-off points, the, the ones that we've set up in different parts of the country, you have to engage with different stakeholders. As we want to just make it easy for people to dispose e-waste, you find all the time we get people asking, if I have e-waste in my home, do I carry it all the way to your facility in Utawala? Yeah? So we want to change uh, that narrative. The reason why I want um, to raise funds and also uh, get other partners on board is for us to just make it easy for the public and also for that awareness and that will also contribute to culture change. People will change their mindset in terms of how they dispose the electronic waste. So this grant will go a long way in facilitating our growth. I think um, things that would have done in, in five years or in, in more years will be able to do uh, in a span of maybe one year. Yeah, uh, by utilizing the grant that we are getting. So we'll put up more drop-off points, we'll create more jobs. We are looking at even creating up to more than 2,000 jobs yeah, for young people. So these will be guys who will be able to also collect. So that if you have e-waste in, in various parts of the country, it's very easy for you to have somebody come in and collect it and bring it to we Center. People just think when they hear e-waste, they will just think mobile phones or, or computers. They don't realize that it's anything that is electrical and electronic that has either been overtaken by technology or has become obsolete. So with, <clears throat> with this grant, we feel we'll handle uh, this differently because it's, um, for me, I feel it's a society issue, you know. So you have all those people aware, you have um, the government doing their part in terms of creating the legal framework and infrastructure. You have us uh, making it easy for people to dispose and creating that awareness. So that's, that's what will happen when we now implement uh, this particular grant.